was good to be helping the environment with, by making these cool sculptures for the animals. Their habitat's been destroyed and they're looking for a place to live and then they find this little house and they can just live in there. Creativity is a magnificent tool for children to develop resilience to all kinds of challenges. So we're flexing their creative muscle and giving them a sense that they can make a difference. It's the children that are the ones that are going to see huge changes in their lifetime. So we have to find whatever way we can to equip them. Here's those two. Northcliffe's a small town four and a half hours south of Perth. It's surrounded by national parks made up of forests and heathland. Hello! How are you? The kids at this workshop have just experienced a bushfire. Yes, yeah, so my name's Peter. I'm a visual artist. And Fiona and I are going to be taking you on a tour today. Then we're going to make some sculptures. I think creativity is an absolutely essential ingredient in facilitating mental health for individuals and mental and social health for communities. It cannot be overlooked. The Understory Art and Nature Trail, it's a 1.2 kilometre walk through pristine ancient forest. And along the track, there are over 50 artworks created by state, national and international artists. The kids are inquisitive, curious. The houses that you build will be going into here. Each of these faces has a story because each of these faces is someone in Northcliffe who experienced the fire in a different way. Rising from the Ashes was a significant commemorative artwork that our community created in response to a huge fire that we had in Northcliffe in 2015. This one's Ali. I think that one up there is Gwen. This one is Janet and Jeff over there. They lost their house in the big fire that we had. Anyone who's been through a fire of that magnitude knows that it's a life-changing event. I found that it took me at least a year to get back my mojo with creativity after the fire. This fire went for two and a half weeks in 2015. So your fire you had recently, you guys were really lucky and you can be very thankful because it could have been far, far worse. We had to evacuate to Mantrum up as the wind was blowing towards our house. Uh, for about a couple hours, we thought um, that our house uh, was burnt. And... Um... The children we've got in this workshop will be starting to think about isolated events and making the connection to climate change. I think the spectre of climate change on their individual and collective horizon is a tremendous burden for young people to have to carry. And I think that, that really does affect their mental health. I'm a little bit worried about climate change and I think we should try to stop it. It's gonna to get too hot for us to stand and we're gonna to have to move to a colder area. What we do know is that extreme weather events are linked to all kinds of anxiety and trauma. What we do have is a generation that has grown up with this narrative omnipresent and our key mental health institutions, organisations like Black Dog, are identifying that this is actually a, a, a critical issue. What we need is ways to respond, ways to cope, ways to become resilient. We're asking children to think of an animal that you might like to make a home for, and we're going to make a sculpture that could act as a home for an animal. To find their balance between a sculpture and a habitat. We're making a bug hotel, so a bunch of different types of bugs. Uh, 
All children need to feel that they have agency in their life. Creative expression is fundamental. The research evidence shows us that humans have always been artifying and making art of the world. This is something we've been doing forever and we know that it makes us feel good. We're hoping that works. Exactly. Engaging with art can just start to get things moving. We can start to feel that we can do something and we can be a positive contributor. With climate change, this story that has this outcome, we can change the ending. We can build a new one together and that actually recalibrates how we feel inside of ourselves. It is our hope that children can take the skills that they learn through this activity and transfer it into their own backyards. It's important to hold on to climate hope. And so these small, tangible acts, they are to be encouraged and supported. Can creativity improve your wellbeing? Find out more at abc.net.au slash space22create.